up, everybody? I'm to hear more. I got a very special guest with me in the building. Uh, he is a uh, uh, well, he's a social media influencer now. Yeah. He he fought it for years. You understand me? Yeah. He fought it for years. Didn't want it to be his title. Matter of fact, for his name years. on Instagram is Marcus. Ain't on the gram. Literally. That is your name on the gram. That's how I get it. You know how I got it? Why? I did uh, the love hour with <laughs> Kevin Melissa. And they was like, how are you not on social media? I can't believe it was a big thing. And then at the end of the show, uh, he was like, follow me, blah, blah, blah. Follow Amy, follow Liz. And follow Marcus. At, well, Marcus ain't on the gram. So <laughs> just in spite of him. <laughs> You're petty. Yeah, petty. Knows no bounds. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Marcus <laughs> Tanksley in What's the building. Good bah, 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 bah. And shout out to uh his riders in the in, in in the building as well. They pulled up on us, uh sent the link out to them and uh and now they're here. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, welcome, enjoy yourself, kick back, have a drink if you want, have two if you're feeling What's good happening? about yourself. Mm-hmm. So this is another episode of Hold Damn on, my mic ain't on. No, it's good now. Oh, okay. Another episode of Damn Internet that you scary. Um I don't know if you're familiar with this, but every yeah. Every episode we do a different, we do a different uh, intro song, so we that get suggested. I, <laughs> I missed that part, but I'll be <laughs> watching and judging <laughs> y'all. <laughs> we get suggestions. Like Terry from... need a better skin routine. Hey, I don't first know of why. all, no, <laughs> you a damn lie. My skin routine is damn near immaculate. Okay, that's what I want you to know and understand. I've seen it. So um, we gonna get suggestions from the more mob. They put in there what kind of song they want. Uh, somebody says Tank gonna freestyle. I would love man, to see it's Tank. Been, no, I, I used to, it used to be my thing. I used to battle on all that. I would love. I will it's give you long. any beats you want. It's been way too long. No, it's never good. Oh, it's never good. You talking about it. like riding a bike? You gonna fall? Listen, eight or nine times. I ain't trying to leave up out here bloody. Listen, it's gonna up. be fantastic. Nah, it ain't either. It's, it's gonna been, be fantastic. We're Dang, gonna, we're it's gonna, been a long time. We've heard, we've heard worse on the podcast. Oh, yeah. Sure. Listen, when Dion Lack was on here, and I was like, yo, Dion does this end of the year wrap up with his family. He really be rapping. We had did this like comedians, like rap beef, like one group against another group. We rapping, Dion's <laughs> producing it. It's, man, I'm like, whoa. That's so hilarious. I built them all up, and Dion starts rapping. He's like, yes, yeah, Dion Lack is uh, <laughs> it's, uh, I'm Tom. I've never seen somebody choke that hard since they now. I mean, Since eight mile. <laughs> he got me. Choke, choke, choke. Man, it was... bring back memories, man. Woo! We used to go to the uh, like any games, like any sport I wasn't playing, I would go to those games, mm -hmm. and me and my boys, we just start these ciphers and just battle other schools. Oh well, see there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it's so been a long time. We gonna rap. We just gotta find out what the type, what type of beat that y'all want for this rap. <laughs> All right, because we do everything. We'll you do. do? <laughs> Listen, wait, wait till you start seeing. Hold up. Listen. My boy Larry Starks was, uh, he did a, a spoof of uh, Ghostface. Yeah. <laughs> you know Larry. Yeah. He said <laughs> he had a trophy strapped to yes. his wrist. Yeah. His, it was just like the dishwasher running. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like go face a rap over anything. <laughs> he really like, will. <laughs> he really will. Here's the thing though. I make the uh what is this? Also, you didn't call me back. Oh, I know Brennan. I, I know I gotta call you back. I did not Brennan forget. on here? Uh, no, nah, he just texted me. Uh, he, I don't think he's here yet, but I'm like, I will I will I will hit you back, Brennan. Um just make sure he wasn't standing <laughs> under. <laughs> Rude, Boy, man. Brennan knows he's Everybody's small, not tall as But you. everybody in his petite is Brennan. <sighs> You gonna be drank today? Mm. Mm -hmm. So we obviously rapping. <laughs> somebody say Uncle Luke. Somebody say '80s hip hop. Okay, '80s hip hop. You can do that. I can do '80s, man. Okay, we, we gonna try something. <clears throat> all right, so we just gonna do it. I ain't had enough to drink for all that. We should do this at want, the end. You want to take a shot? No, nah, I don't do <laughs> shots. I'm grown. It could be a bigger than normal shot, so it's like a double. <laughs> or you just guzzling liquor. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll do a quick little beat, and then right. I'll let you go with it. So basically, this is what we do. We try to rhyme. Uh, we try to start it with, like, uh, at some point, damn it, and that's too scary. We, we can rhyme scary with Mary, Harry, Larry, right. transitionary, binary, dairy. Uh, what else? We, incendiary. Incendiary. <laughs> Whatever you want. Something was But scary. at some point, you, you, we just try to rhyme scary with something, but we always try to put damn it, and that's too scary at some point in the rap. All so, right. It's just super simple. I'm going to start simple. off with that and get it out the way. Then I'll just see where it goes from there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm just going to give you a very easy beat. All right. <laughs> and then I'm going to have you switch, and I'll, I'll start rapping, and we'll, we'll finish it up like that before we get into today's topics. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> I'll give you a church beat. <laughs> do -do 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 -do. 
Da 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 yeah. da 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 Divorces, nah, we stand with these chicks, they ain't going nowhere. They know we got money all thrown in the air. I ain't got nothing else to say. Uh, to uh, here, take it over today. Uh, okay, uh, Tank was really rapping, so I feel like I gotta come with something too. Uh, Check me out. I'm on here daily. Damn in the net. Why you gotta be so scary? Hopped in the car, picked up my cousin Mary. Took her to the stop to get some Mary Jane. Simple and plain. You can't see where I'm going. Eyes open and you still not knowing the way that I be flowing. Transitionary. I piled at the chick, she was non binary. <laughs> didn't identify as male or female, but anyway, any day I'm getting some mail. Mail being money. Get into the sweets like it's honey. I'm a bee, but I don't produce. Ah, man, I lost it. That's all right, though. Yeah. Hey, it was just, it was just fun. hey, it was just hey. Fun. I just wanted to wrong. get trained. I wanted to I get said, a couple hold words Hold on, let now. me get settled in. It ain't working yet. All right, that's all right. Just... <laughs> Well, you, you warm think? up, to be fair, though. Typically, <laughs> you warm no one. up. Yeah, you warm up. You warm up before you go, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Just having fun with yeah, it. Yeah, before just... you jump on that bike, you got to stretch. We didn't stretch. We did not stretch. And to be honest, guys, like we haven't, I haven't done the freestyle. We haven't done the intro to the song for the past three, four weeks because... Not you, um, yeah, you've been out. Yeah, I've been out. But like, I, I don't even know if they made... like This is brand new. Yeah, Do you guys... is, is this your first time with this? This is my I first about time say, with it. I haven't seen it. I'm we, 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 I paid said, for, we paid for this like, like four months ago. And this is my first time. Say, I saw it over here a picture, but this is my first time with it. So, very excited about the new background. Absolutely. Let us know what y'all think about it. Uh, MTN said, this is a train wreck. First of all, MTN, you are right, okay? Yeah. But we're going to bring it back. We're going to do another freestyle later on. I bet that shit be fire. But you also a train wreck. <laughs> 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 nah, you right though. MTN was right. one of those people. He's always here, <laughs> super supportive, super cool dude. But he gonna talk his shit. He talks shit every goddamn show. He get a couple good ones off, but I, yeah. I, I, I be on his ass. I'm like, all right now, little baby doll hair. Somebody said uh, Angels was bad. I bet it was because that's how Angel does is freestyle, nonstop. She will not shut up. I bet it was better. <laughs> Y'all got to see them in action. Because you would think Tank being so manly, he'd be super chivalrous with Angel. He'd be like, get your bag. <laughs> she pulled that suitcase out of that big-ass 18-wheeler. Hey, she, she done that to herself. <laughs> said, I tried to be chivalrous. The first, whole first three, four years was a day, and it didn't work. It didn't work? So he's just like, all right, she going to do what she going to do? Because right. she's stubborn. She is. I ain't going to sit there and fight that. <laughs> what I look like? When Fran first moved out here, she used to fight me, like race me to the car so I can't open her door for her. Like she did this for like three months. And then she she saw the benefit of it and now she will literally stand there. She'll stand there for an hour before she mm -hmm. touches the door handle. She will never touch another door Angel handle. Angel decided, uh, I think last year she was going to start letting me be a gentleman. She mm -hmm. was going to try to be more of that like traditional woman of yeah. letting me do stuff. But now she will literally stand on the other side of the truck and just <laughs> hold her purse. I be literally... The other, what was that, Saturday night? I walked in. I got in the truck. I'm like, where's she? She ah. still had to get out, walk around, open up her damn yes. door. I yes. was like, really? Mm -hmm. She said, mm -hmm. I, do I it said, I said you can't wait 15, 16 years into this thing and start doing hey, this. Hey, man, people change, man. I'm, like, I'm about never to change. Let, you can never let your marriage and relationship get on cruise control because nah, people can't. change. That's, you know that's what I mean? true. People change. Speaking of, I'm going to jump into this first topic, man. So Let's a lot get of the stuff that I talked about. I just pulled from the internet, and this one right here was just now, uh, uh, just uh, real quick warning to everybody watching, because I, I, I usually you know we record everything and then put it out there. Mm -hmm. We got your people in here. I'm gonna be talking real slow because I'm always got that my foot on that cancel pedal. <laughs> I don't I ain't pressed it yet, but it be hovering above. And one day it's gonna somebody gonna. I, I, Somebody I gonna run something that. in front of me and like, oh, oh, dang, you should have never said I, that. I, it's I gonna can, hit I that. Appreciate that. You never can so be I'm gonna be careful. like, uh, I'm gonna be like, um, <laughs> well, I see y'all do it. I see Angel and uh, Kev do it. I'm like, as if. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta collect them. Y'all just gonna be like, go. Yep, 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 yep. yep. <laughs> well, I mean, when it makes it out to the to everyone else, it'll be edited by Hold them. Hold on, what's that? What's that game? Uh, 
Dang, what's that game where you pick up and there's only certain words you can't say? You try to get them to guess what it is. Taboo. Oh, yeah. What, what is, is it? Taboo. 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 Yeah. yeah. That's, that's how I be talking. Like, um. Yeah. So when you stand against the wall, but you don't want to get hit, oh. but somebody is tossing projecting a round an object at object you. Object at you. Yes. <laughs> Evelyn Miller, ladies and gentlemen. Evelyn you Miller me in advance. Who is that? Uh, started working as an escort seven years ago in Queensland after a failed relationship and started traveling around the world. She said due to her condition, sex work was easier than for her emotionally and physically. Uh, Evelyn Miller is the only fans creator with two vaginas. Hey, wait. What? Stop. She got two vaginas. She says she uses one for work and the other for personal life. All right. That's fine. So, um, can she have a child out of both? I on. don't know. No, no. She, I don't know where the cervix is. Me, me, mentally, she has two vaginas. In actual, it's like you using your pickup truck at a construction site. Be uh, like, this is my work, work truck, truck and also my luxury vehicle. No, no, it's still a work truck no. when you pull it up to a she fancy restaurant. She has two vaginas. How is that biologically possible? It, there are people with two penises. She needs to... She made it, she it needs, might have been it might have been twins in the womb and she absorbed the other one yeah. and now she got two she vaginas got, because of it. She just got... <laughs> stuff like that happens. Too. So they so, just be sitting there staring at each other? Yeah, listen. I so need, let's said, go find these videos because I'm curious of what kind of... Additionally, she started working uh, as OnlyFans creator after quitting the escort industry, I was able to use one vagina for work and one vagina Hold for on. my personal life. What is it? Which, is it removable? Which made, which made the work a lot easier emotionally and physically for me. After I quit this, I started OnlyFans filming adult content with both vaginas, and it's been very, very successful. So how many penetrations is that at once? Listen. Yeah. Is she like, no, 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 the bottom one, not the top one. Like, does she have, so, to, specify, does she have to specify which one? She's the work? only person, two in a pink, one in a stink doesn't work in. Nah. Yeah. Four, four in a pink, pink, one in a stink. <laughs> she ain't, like, listen, she ain't, I have a couple you friends have, She on, ain't never hydrated. I got a couple friends on uh, on uh, OnlyFans that I, I subscribe like once a month, just uh, or for one month, just to you know support that you know, whatever. I'd rather give the money and do that. <laughs> do it. I'm going to find this lady on OnlyFans. Yes, I need to see this. I'm going to subscribe. That's National Geographic worthy. You need to have somebody walking up in there like Steve L. Now what do we have here? We have a very rare specimen, ladies and gentlemen. No, you don't see this a lot in the wild. It doesn't. It doesn't let's give go, her. Let's go touch it. It doesn't like, give her uh, her OnlyFans name. It just just gives her real name. I'm two gonna peas her in real a pod. Name. See, see, I'm I'm not finna. Huh? I'm not finna do that. That I'm ain't gonna, it. I don't think I don't think that's it. I, if right, I had to gonna guess, be shocked. You'd be like, I'd be damned. <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> Look for it. Search two piece. Oh, let me, let me. Oh, that ain't it. <laughs> Not going to look for Four that. Four lips don't quit. Uh, <laughs> Four lips don't quit. Nah. Go find a corner. You're yeah. going to send your ass in the corner right I'm now. I'm just saying, you work you at one. You just said you, you were going to wait before you, can, you said anything ridiculous. You can send the other one off to rest, take a nap. I got, I'll take over from here. Evelyn. They say two heads is better than one, but <laughs> this is a whole different meaning to that now. Evelyn Miller. She's only 22. She doesn't look 22. Let's see. No users found. Okay, I'm going to have to do a little more research with this. I'm going to find it. I'm going to let y'all know what it's like when I find it, okay? If somebody finds it before I... Somebody said two pocket books. Y'all go stand in the goddamn... <laughs> two prison wallets! <laughs> <laughs> Fred calls her as a prison wallet. I bet she does. I Don't, do she does. No. Don't, Don't do my bae! No. Don't do my goddamn bae! No, your bae! Don't do my bae! Dangerous <laughs> ass heifer. <laughs> Fred is an absolute... The moment... She chooses to really like, I mean, show people who she is on camera. She is going to blow me out of the water, people. You understand me? I'm. Yeah. She's gonna be the breadwinner once y'all really realize how ridiculous Farron is. Cause y'all don't Farron's y'all haven't even seen a glimpse nah, y'all of don't. her. When y'all see when, how crazy when y'all, she is. When y'all watch stuff, Farron's like, yeah. So today, you know, it was just mm. crazy. That ain't Farron. Farron like, fuck you, take your own yeah. little shit. That's that's, <laughs> that's literally Farron. Yeah. And I promise you, she be is going 12. to break the bank. Speaking of banking, current, okay? Current. You guys are familiar with this. Current is the future of banking where you can uh, manage your money from your phone. Um, they have an app, and it's connected to, to your debit card. You can do everything. It's literally just like online banking, except there are no physical locations. I told you guys a couple weeks ago, 
about uh, Current, and I was telling you guys that they were running a, they were running a, a contest where they were going to give four people from More to the Story, not More to the Story, Damn it, and That's Too Scary, $250 um, for being the winners of the $1,000 giveaway. Uh, I think we announced it already, but just in case we didn't, Mar Marquise W. from Tennessee, Andrew W. from Ohio, Sharnice E. from New York, Lamonte T. from Texas. I'm sure you guys already know that you've won. They contacted you via email and put it in the app as well. Uh, but this is real, people. This is the future of banking. And right now, um, this is, I, I told you all the benefits before. There are no ATM fees. There are over 40,000 in-network uh, ATMs. Um, you could do the roundup thing to help you save more money uh, to for like savings for vacations or birthdays or anniversaries, whatever. You earn points on every swipe, redeemable for cashback rewards. But the biggest one, we just had a call with them last week, and this threw me off because nobody's doing this. Not credit unions, not even like stocks. Right now, current members are able to earn 4% annual, annual percentage yield um, on their, their accounts. So if you have a savings account up to, I think it's up to, let me let me make sure, because I want to say it's up to like $5,000. So you can earn um, up to $2,000 per savings pot. So you can earn 4%. Do you hear me? 4% uh, on your yield. Like nobody gives that number. Goddamn credit unions be like 0.7%. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? On, on stocks and bonds, you're not even guaranteed 1% to 3%. They're giving 4%. That is that is beyond crazy. And if you don't understand what I'm saying, that just means like for money that you keep in your savings, it can accrue interest, okay? And typically, they that interest only grows at like 0.7, 0.9%. They're giving you 4%. No one is doing this right now. So if nothing else... Put $2,000 in there if you got it and just let it sit for a year and a half and just let that money grow. That's going to grow faster than your CDs. That's going to grow faster than a, a, a Roth uh, IRA. That is a crazy... Ted Cam, can you believe that shit? No, 4%? Yeah. You don't. Like, I think Chase is like 0.001%. Exactly. No yeah. one is doing... Listen, this is free money. And uh, in a couple months, they're going to announce that they're going to be doing the concert... I mean, a contest again. Listen, man. This is I, I'm just trying to put y'all on the game, get y'all to sign up right here. Um, next, the next one they're going to be doing an additional fifteen hundred dollars. Uh, listeners, they're going to announce that at the end of the end of February. That's three hundred dollars for five listeners of our show. All you have to do is download the current app at current.com slash DIYS2 or enter our code at DIYS2 during your sign up for a chance to win. Um, <clears throat> very excited about this, man. I'm very excited about y'all winning money. I announced the four winners from the last time. Y'all see, I'm not just more blowing smoke up your ass, but I'm really excited about you guys earning money on your own money. You know what I mean? Like, this is a way for you to learn more about banking, learn more about interest, learn more about yields and all of that, and earn money. At, no one is giving away 4% interest rates. Get this free money. Sign up. Be entered into a chance to win another three hundred dollars. Do it right now. Download the current app at current.com slash DIYS2 or enter our code DIYS2 doing sign up for a chance to win and take advantage of all of this amazingness. Do it now. You feel me? Just had to get that out. Do it now. Do it now. Run now, to the top do line. it. Go do, do it. it. Do it. What are you do waiting for? Do it. <laughs> you know what I can never I never get enough of Predator. The first Predator. Oh, I love all the Predator. I Predators. love that one. That's a guilty, uh, for me, mm -hmm. all the Predator movies are like a guilty pleasure. Yes. Because regardless of how white people say they are, I'm like, I'm going to go watch it again. I'm going to watch <laughs> it again. The one and with Sanaa Lathan, I'm like, I'm going to watch it just because Sanaa Lathan's in it. I, I, that was the, which one was that? Was that the second or third one? That was, the second one was da Danny Glover. That's Danny Glover, no. Sanaa Lathan was like number four. I see, five I, did, or something. I didn't like, see she that was one. later on. I love the, the first two, the first one the best, but then I love the first three aliens. Elegant. Oh, yeah. The yeah, second Alien, Alien is by far the best to me. No, Alien. Aliens is, oh. I love when they finally brought them together. I'm like, yeah. all right. Mm -hmm. Alien versus Predator. I, uh, had, yeah. I had my, no, I had my, uh, I had my, uh, what's it called? Reservations. Bar oh, yeah. set so low yeah. that when I watched it, I was like, huh. I can, all right, I can dig it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I was it, expecting like it, Simpsons type, like come oh, on. Oh yeah, man. yeah, yeah. I mean, it was still, but it, it was, it was I, still hot bullshit though. But yeah. it was, it was just, I mean, not from what I was expecting. It was, okay, okay, yeah. It was, it was if still you knew what I was expecting, you'd be like, all right, I can see why you like that movie. <laughs> 
What's the other one? Predators? Predators. When is, uh, all of that. I, I loved all of that. I got, those are my guilty pleasures. I don't get to do a lot, but that's definitely one of the things that I, I really like to do. Um, so. These two pocketbooks. Uh, <laughs> are we gone from that? Because that's... that's I want to know if it's literal or if it's like a mental. I'm like, going to find it. No, it's they, physically too. Somebody might I looked have, it up. Yeah. Somebody oh, might she, have, uh, she's got to use. She has to use two tampons when she has a period too. Okay, then crazy. I gotta take back some of these jokes. I'm sorry. So uh, I found this, and I just thought, I thought this was, it was like, oh, yeah. you know, I got, you know, <laughs> I got two. Pe- I got the faithful penis, and then I got the one I be running around with. You know, that's just like, nah, hey, you just cheating. That's just you just <laughs> draw a mustache on your penis. Like, nah, this is my work penis. Yeah. Nah, this is Mr. Mustachio. And see, this is what I was talking about getting canceled. <laughs> no, that's not <that's, laughs> right. I'm that's talking about all this stuff I said earlier. Oh, no, you're fine. You're fine. All right. Um, I found this on this one of these Instagram pages I follow. It's called uh, GuffFax, G-U-F-F. When male and female angl- anglerfish mate, they melt into each other and share bodies, kind of like possibly what would happen to old girl, uh, forever. Oh, wow. The deep sea is so vast that if a male finds a female, he latches on and fuses to her, losing his eyes and internal organs until the two fish share a bloodstream. You thirst right. ass nigga. This is this is this is the problem I got. How come in the animal kingdom the female version always, always? ingests or kills or murders Bro. or eats the male? <laughs> like it, it, what is that? It wasn't just that one. I, I made the video. Uh, actually, I did a posting of it about why um, we got to get killed though. Why can't time. we exist no more? There's a every species time. of lizard actually that there are no males. It's all female. You say what? There's a species of lizard actually that it's all females. They just it's probably the most. So they're, they're it's asexual, probably the most peaceful. Asexual, oh. So they just probably the most peaceful yeah, species of themselves. lizard ever walking this planet. <laughs> Yo, that that's so crazy because I coming off of the angler fish. Um, I had just posted about the honeybee, <clears throat> and when the male honeybee climaxes during sex, his testicles explode. Oh my and god! And he dies. Well, ladies, what the fuck, man? I wonder if they know that it is gonna happen before. Like, did they see their yeah, daddy or granddaddy? Know, know. It's Somebody, like, you know what? I'm gonna go on, stay away from. It <laughs> had to be a bee that got away. Like, he got a couple strokes in. He, cut, he stuck the bee <laughs> head in. Was like, you know what? I'm going my oh, family. Roll out. Oh, you just a fuck bee anyway. <laughs> no, nobody care about you. And, and, he, and he, then you he found out. Yeah, that yeah. happened in the biblical days. Now, <laughs> guys, like, hey, now every time one of y'all do it. Just to pay for what he did, all of y'all did. <laughs> but listen, so you got you got the, the the honeybee, you have the anglerfish, you have the the black widow that eats yep. his partner, praying mantis, the praying mantis. mantis, ladies. What the? Fu- <sighs> I didn't think we had it so good, but I guess we do. Yeah, yeah. I feel like the human the human species. I mean, males- we usually die first, but still, <laughs> <laughs> at least <laughs> we get to enjoy it past conception. You know what I'm saying? Man, that's the craziest <laughs> shit ever. Like, it's so many animals. His, hold that on, his that testicles that explode. explode. Could you? <laughs> Can you imagine if he was? A, if he was like, <laughs> what, is she, what does she think's happening when that happens? <laughs> he was like, hey, I gave it. She to be him. flying around <laughs> like, you hey, know, a bitch got yeah, that I got, fire, that, right? I got that good, good. Yeah. <laughs> they tripping off this honey when bitch, the, the surprise hey, is right here. <laughs> you know, if that happened to men, it still be like some men that made it to like they twenties or thirties. He was like, well, even forties, like, hey man, I'm gonna go on chance today. Hey, hey, you know, if she had it. Look at that. Look at over in them jeans right there. I'm going to go. Yeah, I only just died. I got here one time. That's all, all that, I need. I don't need nothing. There's just all one that time. pollen on her face. What if it bees... would still be men walking around with no testicles just because they couldn't resist. Was it, they die. That, you don't just lose your testicles. They wouldn't you die. Care. Yeah, you just die too. How long would you go? That, that, that's the thing. That's the thing. <laughs> it's like, it says when they, what did it say? When they uh, climax during sex. It must be the good. The testicles explode and die. So I would be notorious for not finishing. <laughs> I would be Mr. Three Poke Choke out here. I'm like, ah! <laughs> Obviously, I'm not capable of not finishing. Listen, <laughs> yeah, you are not. Yeah. You're not capable Boy, of finishing or pulling out. I couldn't pull out a plug or out the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I stay Christ. in that thing. In that thing? I stay in that thing. <laughs> I- Trying to tell you, I don't take the package out and then throw it on the street. Nah, yeah. I take it in the front door, out the back door, set it in the backyard. I remember one there. time Farron thought I was putting on a condom. We were probably like three, four years married in. And she was like, she heard that. She's like, were you putting on a condom? I was like, oh, that's a bite sized snicker. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga got hungry. You yeah, know what yeah. <laughs> hungry? Why wait? I was like, I'm finna put it, I'm finna. Men do most of the Night work, ladies. 
Let's keep it a buck. When you're Y'all not yourself. Y'all be mad lazy in the you're bed. Not, you're not feeling you like no, yourself. No, I wouldn't have I wouldn't, a snicker. It wouldn't, been, it wouldn't have been a good night if I didn't have that snicker. Ladies be mad lazy in the bed. The jaw work be like, oh, I'm tired. I got long, I got to go. You know what I'm saying? You Yo, only want to ride. You only want to ride for a good, you know what I'm saying, 16 rotations. Yeah, giving her a back row. Listen, and I will say this. <laughs> man, on the couch, if you, if, you, if, you, if your lady's riding you on the couch, that is a lot more doable for them than trying to ride in the bed because your back is up and they usually can get leverage from the back of the couch. But if they just trying to do it on the bed, trash. Y'all be trash on the bed. Oh, flip me over. I want to go for the back. Missionary, front of side. I'm tired. Spoil me. You know what I'm saying? Like, hit me with the reverse cowgirl for like 10 minutes. Yeah, because to hit me, tired of doing reverse cowgirl. Hey, yo, first man. of all. <laughs> <laughs> Marcus tall ass got a fuck in the woods. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? Get this tree over here and you gotta brace yourself. You know, you need you need anchor points. So you can be stable. That's why you gotta take your socks off. You need anchor points. You nah, know what I'm man. <laughs> Shit. Man, out here killing all of these male bees yeah, and spiders hey. and fish. I'm sick of it. We got it pretty good. Black men can't complain. Nah, we can't. Not after hearing all that. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Explo- that's, that's, the, that's the worst. That's how one of the homies is complaining. I'm like, at least you ain't a honeybee, my nigga. <laughs> Here's the thing. What, what, would you ask? Him, would you rather die by her killing you or your testicles exploding? And you? <laughs> I think I would take that route because at least yeah. I'm dead and no one has to murder me. Yeah, yeah. Like, and imagine, it's when you climax. So hopefully yeah, it's, it's a good like, feeling. But could it be a and negotiation? Like out. you know what? Just yeah. shoot me in Cam the head. Can't take your camera on when you're giving them the jewels too. This is true. So. I, I agree with you, Cam. Like you do it, you do it while you uh, you just drift on the glory. But is it gonna be a drift? You going pop? Like, hey, listen, ah, and then you maybe bleed you out. know you, your heart. Like when you I climax, mean, if you do it right up, your climax yeah, yeah. intense yeah. enough. You just black out. You just black out. I never, I they black, that yeah. having, having a climax or an orgasm is very similar to having well, having sex period is similar to having a heart attack. So everything is heightened. Your blood pressure raises. Yeah. Your heart uh, heart rate elevates. All of that. So it just be like a blackout. Nah, you just never yeah. Black back give in. me the blackout then. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear him explode. Not yeah. only that, but like, can you imagine? <laughs> As a male spider, you just got through fucking one of the baddest black widows. She Everybody a black widow. They all bad. Listen, all the all the niggas want to get in this yeah. web. You know what I'm saying? Oh, let me let me get a little tingle tingle <laughs> right here, right? You give it all your eight legs power. Uh, 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 right? Boom. Who you sweating? You just lay down on the web. You just somebody just catch my breath. And if you catch a little little fruit fly, something, bring that over to your boy real quick. And she's like, oh, I got you. You just lay there. You think you're going to take a nap. All of a sudden, this bitch bites in the top of your head. And then I just gave you premium pumps. And you, I can't even kiss my breath. Oh, you dirty bitch. Yeah. She'd be like, whatever. I'm calling Tyrone. <laughs> so you can eat him, too? He next. <laughs> that is a cold game, man. That's cold-blooded. Yeah, that's a cold game. All right. We pray a man and she just eat. She do. She look she like she boxing versus boxing dude Edo up. Edo dude up. That's so Head crazy. Head first. What is, what, what, what is the reasoning behind that's it? That's how good it was. She didn't want nobody else to have it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you learned to do that little spin thing. <laughs> Bet okay. you don't do it no more. <laughs> Come here. Let me see your arm real quick. Can I see? What's that on your arm? Real... <laughs> oh, my God. Women, you are the worst. I'm kidding. You guys are absolute best. I know. Apparently, we can't live without y'all. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Us, <laughs> society, the world, absolutely. And for some species, we can't even live with you. Ah. That's good. It's a cold game out there, man. And somebody said I need to look up what ants do, too. So I got, at some point, I'm going to look up what the they ants do. They got one chick, don't they? Ain't it just the queen? Yeah, the but I mean, bees do the same thing. Bees yeah. have the queen, too. So. And she just be having sitting there having babies. Yeah. Somebody sliding through and giving her that old poker stroke. Yeah. One um, of they down in the colony, like, hey man, who who hit her last? Yeah. <laughs> she over there. <laughs> we gotta protect her. So, um, <clears throat> saw this on Instagram yesterday. I think. Are you familiar with Mike Todd, Pastor Mike Todd? Man, let's talk about it. All right. You let's gonna get, let them know? Or they probably. I'm probably the last right, one to so, find out about uh, all this. Pastor Mike Todd. He is a pastor of Transformation Church. Um. He was in the middle of preaching when he hawked a loogie in his hand. He had another guy standing on on the uh, on the stage with him. And he's telling this this message about how God blesses people. You have to go through something. You have to uh, stand up. You have to you know 
really just make sure you really want it. Basically, just like you, you might be exposed to some stuff, but if it's for the greater good, see it through. So he's going through this whole whole sermon and all of that, and uh, he spits in his hand two or three times, and then he says at some point, now, now you can see where I'm going with this. And I would have been like, straight to hell, nigga! Um, yeah. But the guy stands on the stage, at some point turns his back, and Pastor Mike Todd turns him back around, and I don't know. I did, I couldn't watch the whole video. I don't know if he like rubbed his finger in it and then drew a cross on his forehead like Man. bless him. But let me tell you something. How do you even? How do you go to the the people in your congregation or your your close circle? I'm sure this brother was like a deacon or the guy that watched the cars and stuff like that. Man. How do you go be like? Listen, guys, I got an idea for the day. Man, With COVID like... going on. I'm going to spit in my hand. Bless it, amen. So it's not just regular spit, it's holy spit. But the purpose is uh, to see that sometimes you have to expose first, yourself man. to get your blessing. First of all, demonstrations are overrated. <laughs> I don't even like, I didn't even like back in the day when they would take the oil and rub it on your head, rub it yeah. across, and then yeah. they rub it on. I, don't, I didn't even like doing that beforehand. <laughs> Like, you just rub it on Aunt Ethel's head. She looked like she got something contagious Listen. on her forehead. Now you're going to yes. rub that same thing and you ain't... Yes. Why, that was back way before COVID. Yeah. So with that said, there is not a prayer on this planet <laughs> that has ever existed that would bring me back from hell from what I would have to do to him. Yeah. He rubbed some saliva. Yes. Um, that's, it, it had to be premeditated. Yeah, yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Like, he had to have the that person that did he had to convince them to do this. That's not something like he, he's making his way to the stage and he'd be like, walk with me real quick. I want, I want yeah. you to be a part of this. No. <laughs> no. No, that is like paperwork might have been signed. That's why presentations are overrated. All you got to do is say Jesus spat and gave sight to the blind. People already know what that is. We don't need, you ain't Jesus. That's another thing. Jesus died over 2,000 years ago. That's another thing. All right. Yeah. Now, if you rub that, if you do that, I better have a wealth of knowledge that is so massive that I can't even see all of it. <laughs> you are Lion King. Everything you gaze upon is yours. Yes. <laughs> I can't even see that far. Will it still yours? That's how much wealth the better come from that. Well, what was, I saw somebody's comment that said, uh, I, I barely spit on the tip. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. <laughs> you over spitting in eyes? <laughs> Man, I could I not. I saw it. I couldn't find it fast enough. God damn, that was good. Well, the saliva I... smells. You ever just like it's, it? has a Bro, lingering man. smell. That's a, I, it I, comes I, from down in there. Yeah, I, um, that's mucus. And it's not like he had time to brush his teeth beforehand. Yeah, yeah. So man. I, it, mm -hmm. it's, I remember when I first started working at this. Uh, I first moved out here. I got a job at this this lube shop. By lube shop, I mean like uh, Valvoline. <laughs> yeah, you was over Jiffy there. Lube type. No. I, two pocketbooks. That's why I Two pocketbooks special. I Come on in here and get lube. Because I know you don't know how to act. <laughs> Somebody, I work at a lube shop and I remember my homeboy was telling me. In Van Nuys, like, right? <laughs> <laughs> he was like, he's like, man, I'm embarrassing. I was like, did you, you did the test? He was like, nah. He's like, that doesn't work. You gotta, you gotta lick your hand and smell it. Mm -hmm. I was like, what? Really? He was like, yeah. yeah. Like, because your breath it's something like that is just like what's in your mouth, but like your 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 real the real smell of it is gonna smell like what your tongue smells like. That's why when people who have really uh, bad breath, it's not them brushing their teeth that's gonna fix like the problem. They have to clean. They gotta clean. They their scrape tongue. their tongue yeah. with that that tongue scraper. And so I was like, bro, I never knew that. Number one, never knew that they, churches would get this animated man. with the blessings. Um. They said it was his brother that he did his that brother, too. So that means they knew everything. But here's the thing. Brother, not. My, I'm not letting my brother spit on me. Not at Man, all. You know, and that, it, let, it lets me know because I, I I, the only reason I know about this is y'all know I don't be up on these current events like this. Yeah, yeah. Angel, uh, she was telling me about it. And we were sitting there talking. We was like, that's how you, our first thought was this, where were the wives if they married? Mm -hmm. Girlfriends, sisters. Because it's been many times where I was about to say or do something real ignorant. Angel's mm -hmm. like, you sure you want you want to do that? <laughs> she ain't even say don't do it. You, you sure you want to do that? Friends, and then I sat there and think way. about it like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You right, yeah, you listen. right, <laughs> you right. <laughs> like we talked about it. Y'all don't know what we talked about it on, but like when we was uh, remember that y'all uh, shot her up during uh, 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 paintball. Oh, paintball. Yeah. My original video was me loading the guns and you seeing the guns and the bullets, and she was like, uh, Marcus, <laughs> you sure you want to show that? On Instagram, don't. You sure you want people don't to see? Give them and a I was reason. like, why not? You, you right, you mm -hmm. right. Let me let me take it out. So I, I blame the women. 
Well, Y'all know the we ain't got no sense. He's got to have some, uh, uh, I don't know, deaconess. I don't know. Somebody mm -hmm. in that church that they affiliated with, some sisters, aunties, granny, mom, somebody, somebody should have been like, uh, baby, something. You don't do that. Don't don't spit on your brother's forehead or your, uh, your brother's eyes. Somebody should have said, brother, don't let your brother do that. Y'all don't do that. But we hey, we all we all make mistakes. Everybody's different. Everybody, you know, I don't yuck nobody's yum when it comes to like sexual preferences and things church. of that nature. But that right there just seems very unsanitary. Church demonstrations <laughs> are overrated. Pastors, we don't need no physical demonstration. Just make your word good. Yeah, I mean, I feel like you could do that without I don't feel like that really brought it home. I feel like the goal <laughs> for that was to go viral. Hold up. I feel like he, he achieved that goal by going viral, but I don't think that whatever that message was, well, like that sealed the deal. Like, uh, that right there, they was like, "Oh, you could have had now a now I get it." You could have had a spray. You could have that little glass of water they bring. You could have yeah. just dipped your fingers in that. You could have had a V eight. <laughs> <laughs> But I don't get a lot of stuff. Like Man, I don't get why I've, I've, I've seen so many church demonstrations, and mm -hmm. it never fails. At the end, the congregation is always like, "So why why did he do all of that? Why did he line six of them up and bring out a sheet?" <laughs> 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 I don't understand why he did that. Why he, just, why he just didn't wait to Easter for them to do the play about yeah, it? Nah, why did yeah. you want to ruin the yeah, play we didn't for need, them? We didn't need you to bring all these hymnals out here and put them on the ground to represent palms of Jesus walking Listen. on them. We didn't need that. Now we got to pick them up. You done spent 15 minutes picking up these hymnals off a of demonstration. I don't, I don't get it, but I never will. There's certain things I just don't get. I don't get why rappers do a lot of the crazy stuff that they do either. Like I don't even question rappers because what's the point? What's the point? Like I, the, now this, I I talk about the pastors because they they serving a purpose. These yeah. rappers, especially now, you know we old. Listen, I'm I, about to turn just, forty next week. I don't. This is what I don't like. I don't. I don't like rappers showing this elegance and a certain way of living, but not showing like the the flip side of it, like. Mm -hmm. Like, all right, you got this money, you got the change cars, houses, stuff. What what are you investing in? Because like that's that's, that's yeah. what the kids need to see too. That's like, why I respect uh, you know, one of my favorites of all time, Jay Z, yes. Rick Ross, Art, T I property. They like, this is what you need to be doing. Yes. You over here flashing this and that and that. And I'm like, I don't, what they doing? I though? don't get it. Rich the kid, uh, he's a rapper, a newer rapper, he says uh, he spent thirty thousand dollars on an iced out baseball cap. This that's <laughs> That's it right there. It looked real sad. It looked like you got on rhinestones. That's that's simple as that. I could have thirty thousand on a. Cap? I could have spent thirty dollars. I could have went to uh, what's it called uh, Hat World. Yeah. Got a fifteen dollar hat. I could have went to Pearson Pagoda or Claire's. Got a bunch of rhinestones, and it would have you wouldn't have known the difference between you the two got hats. Could have got an Ed Hardy hat, and it had more <laughs> shine and colors. Matter than of fact, this right thirty dollars a hat. Y'all hit me up. I'll make them for you. You can tell everybody it costs thirty. I don't, I just, I, I don't understand a lot of what's going on when it comes to I rappers. don't, I didn't even like, even when, uh, I don't know what our Floyd Mayweather does. Mm. I know he does a lot. But when you put on with that, yeah, yeah. But you don't hear about him doing the investments. You hear about him flashing that $1 billion watch. Yeah, but in the interviews that he's flashing that $1 million, that $1 billion watch, he also talks about his business endeavors. He also talks okay, about... Okay, I knew he did business, yeah, but I had does, the research to do yeah, those. Yeah, he, he, he bought a lot of property, like, downtown. So I forgot what And maybe I can blame it on social media. Then yeah, putting that on show, blast yeah. versus him talking about his properties Yeah, but he, he, does, he typically does it in the same... The same video, okay. so you just have See, to watch. Yeah, yeah, they be cutting that out. Because I had to dig deep. I, I, this was years before the watch video, but these rappers, like old boy, that got their diamonds uh, uh, snatched up out his head. Uh, Lil uh, Uzi Vert. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I I didn't understand that when it happened. I just I just. Oh, the I dream. Hold on, is that I dream a genie? <laughs> That wasn't yeah. I Dream of Genie. And it was also one it with was, the diamond in his forehead. That's um with the turban on his head. That's that was one. That of the was way back. From, uh, uh, what's I know it called? Johnny Haji. Quest. Johnny, Haji. 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 Yeah. Johnny Quest. And it was one. Uh, it was one of those guys in uh, Dragon Ball Z, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, the one that had the face like was it Krillin? Like that? The... Yeah. No, nah, not Krillin. He was a little. I, maybe he didn't dude. have the diamond though. I think somebody no. did. I don't know. I don't know. It's it's it's, it's very. At this point. I feel. I don't know if it's, it's guidance. I don't know if it's for attention. <laughs> I don't know if it's just it's to be able attention. to stunt. 
I don't know what it is. I know a lot of times. I, I will say this: once, once my financial stability changed, once that level did change, and I thought that you know I could do this, I could do this now. I was doing certain things, and I it brought a temporary happiness to me. Mm. It was a very fleeing moment. It did not yeah. last. And it didn't last because I, I mean, they say that money doesn't, it can't buy happiness. It can, it can definitely buy you some things that might make you temporarily happy, but it will mm-hmm. not ultimately buy happiness. It was because <clears throat> I had some things that I hadn't, I hadn't really faced head on, mm-hmm. and it wasn't until I got with uh, a therapist that I trust that I was able to tackle these issues, and that's why I will always go hard for better help. Better help is the sp- well, one of the sponsors of this podcast is. Uh, it's online therapy. We talk about better help a lot on this show. We are very much believers in it. We are very much supporters of it. Um, still have it on my phone right now. I, I go to therapy every Thursday. I'm sorry, every Tuesday. Every Tuesday I do therapy. Um, and therapy isn't for so-called crazy people. Uh, like so many people have tried to label it. Um, it's underrated. It's, it's very underrated. And I've, I hate that people feel like they have to wait till things are so... Uh, tragic and, and turmoil mm-hmm. and surrounding you in every direction before you go to therapy. You can go to therapy right now. You can you can feel completely fine and still sign up for therapy. There's nothing against you. You don't have to wait till there's a catastrophe because mm-hmm. a lot of times we have learned to compartmentalize what is really affecting us so well that we don't address it and yeah. it is not really brought up until somebody's asking us those probing questions and right. that's what a great therapist is going to do better yeah. help is, is is customized online therapy that offers you video phone and even live chat sessions with your therapist so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to it's much more affordable than in-person therapy and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours so Give it a try. See why over 2 million people have used BetterHelp Online Therapy. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. And damn internet, you scary listeners. Get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash D-I-Y-S. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash D-I-Y-S for 10% off your first month. Listen, do it now, guys. Fellas, I cannot. Ladies, of course, I, I encourage you guys to as well. But I know women are way more astute and way more intuitive on them knowing that they need to take action in their life. Fellas be like, I'm cool. I'm, I need to do that. I was that way. I am fellas. Fellas is me. I, I get and understand what you're thinking. You're thinking like, you know, family business stays inside this house. Uh, you don't talk about everything that goes on in this house. Uh, if you go to therapy, you're weak and all of that type of stuff. Fellas, none of that is true. Learn how to kill these stigmas that are helping to perpetuate the stereotypes in the black community and and perpetuate the, the the downward spiral of mental health in the black community try it out one month you can you can you can sacrifice the cost of one month for your health you deserve it you owe it to yourself so i encourage everybody to check out betterhelp.com slash diys and get 10 percent off your first month holla at you baby absolutely Mental health is the same as any other health. You go to a doctor's, you go to a physical therapist, you right. do all of this other stuff. You need mental health, too. Go to see Bro, a therapist, dude. A and I'm trying to tell you, nobody needs therapists more than black men do in this country. Mm-hmm. Nobody. I can tell you that right now. But now, we're uh, talking about these, uh, these, ra- these rappers. The culture is flash. Mm-hmm. That's what it's all about is flash. And it's like it doesn't matter... In the moment, it's just like I just need to let everybody know that I spent this money and I did this. I need to let everybody see me. Holes. I'm and out here stunting on them. Meanwhile, it's like you looking real ignorant right now. Not only that, like he just I, you, I, I'm just raised in a different era. I never want to look like the target that one of my homies from my neighborhood would rob. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like I don't mm-hmm. do stuff too gaudy. I haven't even really posted my cars. Well, the, yeah. the people, the people that haven't seen my car, somebody else took a picture or a video and posted it. Mm. I haven't, I haven't done it. Didn't Little Uzi take the the diamond out of his head because yes. someone tried to steal it? So it was like at I that point, somebody what's, took it out. What yeah. was the yeah. point? I, I I think he took it out one because somebody did try to take it, but then also like they said it would could cause some type of health problems. I, <laughs> I imagine. But it's just like, bro, like, <laughs> yeah. what are y'all? What what's yeah. the purpose, bro? Like, I just, I don't, don't like it. that they're not but showing the flip um, side of that, though. Yeah, but that, like, again, that's the culture. That's the current state. Like, you had it, you you had it a little bit back in the day, but now it's like it's on a whole different level. Mm-hmm. It's like you know, you got the whole Instagram. Hey, look at this. Look what I got. Got this. Got that. It's rented. 
That's it's, another uh, thing. <laughs> you don't they own don't a lot of that stuff. They never tell these kids that. Oh, y'all just got the new yeah. stuff. It's like you're leasing it. You're leasing it. It's you're no way it. possible. Uh, your money team, your the person, your financial advisor is allowing you yeah. or, or granting you the the access to your funds to keep buying these cars. Those cars yeah. are leased. Push you T pay. said it. Uh, it's like a, you got a mil you got a million dollar wrapping, and his mama still living in squalor. Mm -hmm. It's like, come on now. Mm -hmm. You ain't telling them kids that you put ten thousand dollars down and you paying fifteen hundred yeah. or twenty five hundred a month because you leasing that yeah. car. And you just like I got the brand new. Stop lying yeah. to these kids. And, and nobody bro. sees it more than people out here in L.A. Yeah. When I first moved out here, I, first I was mesmerized. I'm like, man, how's all these people my age and younger riding around in these brand new two thousand next years? Mm -hmm. But then, they, and then, then that's they when park I realized, it on the street though. Then they go park it on the street. They park it on the street and they live in the same apartment as me. And I'm like, what's wrong with this picture? Right. No, I got to drive a 97 Ford uh, a tour show. What is up with this? And I'm like, oh, I get it now. Mm-hmm. They was out here re renting uh, outfits before yeah. Trunk Club and, 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 and yeah. that Nordstrom Trunk Club. Before that was a thing, people was out here doing it just for, like, um, red carpets and other events, or parties. Jamie Foxx has some epic... Uh, pool party. People will be renting yeah, stuff. I've been first, a couple why, why of you, pool parties. Why are you renting the outfit for a Man. pool party? What are you? <laughs> That's the ridiculous. fuck are you thinking? Are Man, you? I, I, I don't get like. I Angel put me on blast earlier this week by my shoe collection. I don't put a lot of my shoes on blast. Mm -hmm. But guess what? Them ones that she showed, you're going to see them 15, 20 times probably this month. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you are going to see. That's what it is going to happen. Um, I want to, well, this is another thing. Like, so NL Lead Chopper, who's a rapper, um, was walking through the airport and supposedly or allegedly a fan of NBA Youngboy, who's another rapper that mm -hmm. um, uh, supposedly one of his fans walked up to NL Lead Chopper and was like, What's up, you NL Lead Chopper? You scared? You scared? I asked you like three times. And like starts fighting dude, starts fighting the rapper. Now this is a fan fighting the rapper just because he's a fan of Man. another rapper. Mind what's, your business. What's Did he get Molly whopped? He didn't. It just it, it was the fight this last this lasted yeah all of like maybe three seconds. Like boom, one, two, three, four. He slipped. He didn't get knocked down. He slipped. But then the people came over and broke it up. Let me tell so you. So it's all of four or five seconds. But it's just like, what are you proving? Let me. That's that's got to be the most ignorant. Let me tell you what, rappers. If rappers are beefing, you don't know why they beefing. It might just be all hip hop. Yeah. Like even back in the day, you had uh, when uh, my, one of my favorite beefs of all time, when you had State Property and the Locks beefing. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's like they would see each other. They would see each other and walk past. It's like you know we ain't gonna get you this time. But me as a fan, if I were to pick sides and try to run up on him, mm -hmm. I deserve to get my ribs cracked. Yep. Absolutely. Like <laughs> because I don't know what that's about. It's you don't just, know their just, history? And not only you don't that, know them like, people. What you, what you, you a fan. You don't know them. You don't know them. You don't know the, the kids, history man. behind it. You you don't even know if they really beefing. They could just be like really not having any problem with just saying some stuff just because they know it's going to go viral and they're going to get people to do stuff like yeah. that. That's man. why Currency is one of my favorite rappers. I've said this on the show a couple of times, mm -hmm. but like Currency's energy, bro, is like love. It, like He right. just wants to drive dope cars Put hydraulics on the shit and smoke weed. Take care of his son. Like yeah. that's that's what he's always put out. Like feel good music, smoke good music, ride good music. <laughs> he's, and he said in an interview, he was like, because he he was at one point he was signed to No Limit, and mm -hmm. then a, and well Cash Money and then No Limit. No, I'm sorry, No Limit first and then Cash Money. Then he went independent. Um, and he was like, he remember when he was signed to No Limit and he wrote a show song about shooting a nigga 17 times. Then he started thinking like, man. That's gonna really make his mama sad. Like, what mm -hmm. is mama gonna do without? Yeah. And like from that point on, he's just like, I'm not really about that. Yeah. It is like the old Kanye. Think about the old hey. Kanye. The old Kanye never talked about killing nobody. Right. Like he might. He, he talked about like dressing. He talked about cars. He talked about women. Uh, building up the the mm -hmm. economy. I mean, the black community. But he never talked about like just killing somebody. Think yeah. about all the old Kanye songs. He might kill you with the flash. Right, but he never yeah. talked about like running up in somebody's house, putting a gun up in your mouth, pushing mama down, something. None of yeah, that shit. Yeah, ninety percent of these rappers ain't about their life, but they gonna talk about it, and they end up going into their life from talking about it. Jay Z said it. He said most rappers don't get a record until they get a record. Mm. Mm. <laughs> 
Like, for real. It's yeah. like, come on now. Lady Blue, you already know. Jet Life. Life is out here. Um, hey, don't do that. I don't know. Don't, don't be throwing up no games. This is Jet Life, man. It's like the Jets. Nuh-uh. Yeah. No. J-E-T-S. No, because I was on West Side one time. Just somebody enjoy threw it up this there. shit. Hey. <laughs> What's up with them shoes, homeboy? And I was well, like, I look, mean, these are great. What, I'm is, just playing with y'all. I was just saying, you, you, you know where you can and can't go. Like, this I done is been the, so many places I ain't the, supposed to go. Bro, this is the only acceptable hat to wear in L.A. of different colors. Yeah. L.A. hat. This is the only neutral pass that you can wear in Watts, uh, South Central, all of that, right? Yeah. It's, it's the normal L.A. hat, right? However... Every other baseball team is associated with some gang in LA. Yeah. Everyone, the the Stingrays, the Marlins, the, yeah. the Boston Red Sox, depending on the where Athletic you A's, everyone is associated with. And you know what I say to that? That's why my community is gated. <laughs> Because <laughs> I ain't got time for you niggas. <laughs> I'm hitting all the I ain't going back man. and forth with you niggas. Yeah. Now, I will, uh, you know, where we live at, we're not. In those areas. Yeah. Like, we don't live that far from each other. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm from the Midwest. I'm from Kentucky. So I've always been a Cincinnati Reds fan. Yeah. I have a Cincinnati Reds hat that I wear all the time. Ooh. Except for when I go over the hill. Listen, you go I over got the hill. I got approached, um, actually, in, uh, what was that? I was at the Sherman Oaks Galleria one time. Uh -huh. I don't oh, know really? if this dude was blood or crit. I don't know what he was. But he was What's like, it? he said, what set you claim? I said, what? I didn't know what he meant. Because right. he, he said it with the accent. He's like, what set you claim? I said, look, man, I ain't about all that. You better watch where you were at. I said, man, we in the valley. What are you talking right, about? Exactly. You don't what belong here. What are you talking here. about? If you're doing that here, <laughs> friend, listen, our HOA fees are way yeah. too high <laughs> for you to be concerned about what fucking yeah. set I'm from. You need to be asking, yeah. like, what investments do you have? Right. Because it was like, he's like from across the way. Like, this is a big walkway. And I walk, what set you? I, and you're a big thought, dude. First, I thought, he, and this is, he dude was small. Not that I'd be judging, like, oh, I can take you because of your size. But he was he's like, what's it? And first I thought he was just saying, what's up? I could have known him from the gym. I was right. like, so I stopped. I was like, huh, what's up? He's like, what set you claim? He like kind of bucked up. I said, man, what are you talking about? I see you got on the I see you got on the blood. I said, man, we in this, we in Sherman Oaks, oh, man. Bro, cut, that cut out. it out. Cut it out. Oh, man. Oh, Keep oh, that I shit on the off. Head. I said, man, go on somewhere with all that. Now I know where I can wear that hat and where yeah. I can't. Yeah, and I'm still going to. I'm still going yeah. to. It's, I mean, a lot has changed since then. Like from the nineties, the boys in the hood, but you still have some people out there that are just looking yeah. for a reason. And that lets like, you know he like it wasn't no real one for real because he yeah. would have known like this ain't that type of community, this ain't that type of area. Yeah, this is the Sherman Oaks Galleria between Encino <laughs> and uh, uh, what, what's uh, Encino and what's on the uh, what, nah, Encino and uh, oh, on the four or five, like right there, yeah, on, uh, yeah, yeah, by the it's in factory. Encino. I don't know what side I'm saying, but yeah, yeah all right, that, on the twenty four hour fitness. Yeah, I, was, I think I was walking out. up through her going to like back in the day, going to like DSW or something. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I said, what? Man? Yeah, like, you know what? It's because the 405 is right there and they can come. Man, we'll from keep Inglewood. going south yeah. straight back to. Come on, man. All right. Uh, a couple more things and we're going to get up out of here, man. Uh, that time goes fast, man. But it's, it's fast. We've been working with you, man. I know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> nah, I appreciate it. I um, enjoyed this. Well, what are we going to go with? Trying to stay up with these topics. Um, so, you need glasses? The feds, and I was trying to see which one I'm going with. The feds <laughs> sue an auto repair shop owner who paid his former employee with 91,000 pennies, oily pennies. Let me let me specify mm. that. Oily pennies. So, he works at a, he's a, he's the owner of a, a a repair shop and I guess he did not like the way the man quit or he had a problem with the man gentleman that was quitting. So, he got 91,000 pennies for his last paycheck that was like $910 or something like that. Uh, put oil on them, I would imagine motor oil, and then gave them to this employee, a former employee. Now, you know, think at this point, this guy has to figure out, how can I haul these 91... Where are you going to get 91,000 pennies? That's, that's, he had to go to got, every and multiple bank. bank. Multiple banks. This, multiple banks. Like, and he probably did it over the course of a week. He was like, he's going to be like, all right, your check will be ready in two weeks. And now you're supposed to give me my check on the last day. Ah, right, I got to write it up. Just so he can go to all of yeah. these banks to get that that much... What do you say at the bank, too? I need all your pennies. Like all that, your pennies. basically? I've never... Here's the thing. I don't under, even understand how you get that petty. To have to do. You know how much trouble. Bags are different for you, Tank. I, I would never go through that much trouble <laughs> just to make a point. Like, <laughs> like that's a lot of trouble. Like you, you know how heavy it's a lot changes. Of trouble for you, like to take on. Yeah, like, like, I don't, how, how difficult would it be for you to gather ninety one thousand pennies 
and drop them off somewhere. You standing in his driveway with a shovel, shoveling mm-hmm. them out your trunk. <laughs> and he put a note on it, and the note said, fuck you. So he knew what he was doing. Obviously, he knew what he was doing, but like... Yeah, uh, were they, were they, they, like were they rolled like, or were they loose? They nah, they loose. So he had to go. He, this guy's got to roll he, them on. He, he unrolled them oh and then God. put them like with the note. And they're oily, as I said. Um, yeah, man. Yeah, ain't they like destroying currency or something like that? You said the feds too? Is that what you said? The, yeah, the feds are like they're taking over the case evidently. So yeah, but yeah. how would they? I mean, I get there's an inconvenience, but yeah, well, I'd, be more, I'd be like, babe. Cover me up with these oily pennies. We're going right. to say we, he dumped them on me. <laughs> so I think the, the original story, I think it goes something like uh, the, the worker went to the Department of Labor because of something that was going on at the job. Uh, uh, and that's why the guy eventually oh, got so fired. So he probably about to lose and all so kinds like, of stuff yeah, anyway. Now, yeah, now, now the feds are involved because the Department of Labor is involved. So And the last thing you want to do is be petty toward an employee. And then and a, a hot yeah, back in, in, in a former employee's driveway. Yeah, covered nah, in the stains. Bad. It stained the driveway because of the oil. So now you got to fix uh, that. You got to. That's a. Uh, that was too much work. To that's be a petty. disposal. Uh, uh, what is it? A uh, toxic waste. Um, Yo, um charge man. now. They, <laughs> you yeah, know, you dumping oil in people's driveway. You out of there, my boy? And for what? For what? For what? To make a point. All right, he already on. got fired. <laughs> he already got fired. <laughs> yeah. Another uh, wild one about money. Um. Netflix will raise its subscri- subscription prices by one to two dollars a month in the U.S. and Canada, with prices soaring on everything else. Now comes word that Netflix plans to increase subscription prices in the U.S. and Canada by one to two dollars a month. The popular streaming service is raising its rates to help pay for programming costs. The company said, according to Los Gatos, California-based company's website, the monthly cost for the basic plan increased from. Uh, two nine ninety nine from eight ninety nine, while the standard plan is now fifteen forty nine from thirteen ninety nine, and the premium plan rose to nineteen ninety nine from seventeen ninety nine. Let me say that's, this. Co- that's I cool. When premium was only like ten ninety nine. That's cool though. All you gotta do is get everybody to chip in to share your account. That's that's it's gonna that's be like twenty, 20 cents a piece. But here's my thing: <laughs> the whole purpose, Netflix. Of streaming with you is so we could get rid of cable and these increasing fees. And here you come following suit. Now, I will say this. While you have put out some great content, some great movies, The Old Guard, if you will, if you hey, have not seen that, it's hey, one of my... Listen, oh, my God. You should at least start... Woo! On, what? What? Woo! Um, what was the one with um Thor? Um... Oh, extraction! Uh, extraction! Yeah, come on, boy, them one. two right there. Right, but uh, those were great. But his his also an, his also a suggestion. Maybe stop giving Dave Chappelle one hundred and fifty million dollars for three specials. I don't know. Man. I don't know. I don't feel like what we should have to like carry the grunt of that. Yes, it's just one to two dollars more a year. But it's like, yo, you're doing great. Now, I will I will say some, some insider stuff I've heard that like like YouTube, Netflix is, uh, has always been in the red. As yeah. a company, they've always been in the red, which means that they're always like kind of hemorrhaging money. You know, they never really they turn profits. People get paid, but they're not like a super financially successful company because it costs so much to produce all of these amazing shows and movies. And yeah, well, and they Dave lost Chappelle. a bunch of their licensing because a lot of other companies license now have their own streaming. That's service, another so thing yeah. too. So like you else. used to have all the Marvel movies on there, then Disney came out. Disney be yeah. like, I'll take those yeah. and all of these as well. Forensic Files has been on for, uh, goddamn me Netflix since I started streaming, and now Forensic Files is yeah. going off of Netflix. I don't know what that was about, but it is still on Hulu yeah, they, for those they, who watch They definitely it. got a lot of competition uh, coming They got a lot up. of competition and, right now. But when you got, like you said, I agree with the Dave Chappelle thing, but when you got movies like The Old Guard and Extraction, you still have to compete with those people, that are other people that are willing to pay these actors. Yeah. So yeah. I kind of I, I kind of get it. I do. But I just per like, account, one or two dollars. Y'all could have snuck it up like just fifty cents here. Yeah, but twenty cents there. Thing is like, bro, it's like, it's like, it's all right. So let's say that you have you have Netflix, you have Hulu, and um, Hulu's, and Hulu's, Disney, yeah. right? Hulu, yeah. do, do, does Hulu sponsor y'all or anything? No, oh, no, okay. but Hulu's I, I, trash. Yeah, they ain't they ain't Hulu is like, ah, Hulu's, Hulu's I, I do awful. Hulu because we we can get live. Like three we get shows. Live, we get live <laughs> on Hulu. Hulu. We also get all the cartoons we love. We love Archer. Archer. Like Archer. FX, it's, it's basically it's FX. Saga. Yeah. That's it's saga. And whatever is not Hulu. on uh, Netflix for movie wise, it's usually on Hulu. Yeah. All right. So we got Netflix. Black-ish. We got Hulu. 
We got Disney because come on, Disney. Yeah. You gotta have Disney. You gotta have the Marvel. Yeah, Disney's the Star Costco Wars. and Walmart of yeah. TV networks. And they they coming out with some great like yeah. uh, like these new series. Like what's the new one? Night uh, Moon Moon Knight. Moon Knight. Yep, that's that shit out. looks great. Yeah, right. And then you got Apple uh, Play. Apple yeah, you got TV Apple Play. Did you see HBO. the Tomorrow War? Yeah. Oh, well, that's on that's on Prime. No, it ain't. That's Prime. Yeah. Tomorrow. That, no, no. C. C. Yeah, C. C. C is all. Oh, C is Jason Oh, Moore. my God. Yo, C is great. I didn't even need to see nothing else. I saw his face on the thing. I'm like, I'm watching this. Hell yes. First scene, boy, my butthole was clenched so tight. Ah, it's like I had oh one cheek. Oh, my God. If y'all ain't seen It's like C. I had one booty Woo! cheek. I could never one. shit again in my life. One. Just one cheek, man. Old girl was cool because she got two pocketbooks. So she was like, I can afford mm-hmm. to uh, lose one during mm-hmm. this uh, opening oh scene. Oh, my God. Here we go. <laughs> so... We got Netflix, we got Hulu, we got Disney, HBO. we got HBO because yeah, HBO, they HBO. doing the HBO Plus. We, man. And we got Prime, right? Uh, and then whatever music streaming site. So now mm-hmm. you're you're past what you were paying for cable. Yeah, I do the Apple um, Apple Premium, so it just rolls in like my extra uh, iCloud. It rolls in oh, yeah, Apple, Fa- Apple 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 Music um, in there, and then also. Uh, Apple TV, all in one payment. I think it's like twenty nine ninety nine. But like that's twenty nine ninety nine. We got the premium for Netflix. That's nineteen ninety nine. We got the live TV for Hulu. I don't even know what that. Farron didn't even tell me that one. Prime is a hundred dollars a year or one hundred fifty dollars a year, and that's annual. They just take that right out of yeah. your account. And then um, uh, Disney is what one hundred uh, six ninety nine a month. I think. Oh yeah, something like still that. that. Yeah. So it's like, damn, I'm paying more for cable. And then you got cable. the stuff that you still got to buy from them just in case it ain't out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anything comes at premium, <laughs> yeah. another I'm thirty twenty dollars. So you're spending about like but at the same, a hundred. But at the same time, cable didn't have half the stuff that all these yeah, other places and you have. Couldn't, like, I mean, unless you had direct like, TV to or... play devil's advocate, it's like yeah. you got cable, you could be paying five thousand dollars a month. And you still only get what stars and HBO is showing, and half the time it ain't nothing. Yeah. I'm gonna be real with you. I don't even watch that much on this shit. Like I am a Forensic Files, Archer. At one point, I was really big into Naked and Afraid, but then that lasted for like a month, and I, I yeah. got off of that. Uh, right now, I'm watching Law and Order: Organized Crime. That's the one with Fabler came back. That one's pretty good. But other than that, I don't really watch to, a whole to, lot of TV. When I sit down and relax, if I'm like had a busy day, if I need like just to relax, I will go. And I will go to uh, HBO, mm-hmm. and I will watch Martin. Mm-hmm. If not, I go to, because we got the Apple, so we get uh, YouTube TV. Yeah. Dang and it. I go over there, and I watch Everybody Loves Raymond mm-hmm. <laughs> and King of Queens. <laughs> and I, that's uh, what I do to, like, so I don't have to think. I don't have yeah. to do nothing. I can just decompress. I'm like, all right, let me just sit back and giggle. I watched the... Uh, I, I love when they, they revamp a lot of these old black shows. I like watching to see if they hold up yeah. the test of time. The first episode, the pilot episode of Sister, Sister... Held up. Yeah. <laughs> PJs. Yeah. yeah. But it's so good. I love yeah. the PJs. It's a special spot in my heart for PJs. Yeah. Hey, super. <laughs> 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 what? Juicy? Yeah. I love the PJs, nah, yeah, man. That was, yeah. that was my shit, man. I didn't realize how many people wrote on it. Eddie Murphy uh, wrote on it. He's a producer. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Larry Whitmore. No. He had the show on uh, Comedy Central. It was... I uh, forget the name of, but yo, it was just like people been working for a long time. But yeah, it has. Yeah, man, I, I I do like HBO for that. Like they they got a lot of old shows that you can catch. Yeah. And uh, what is it? Tim as a ten year old is a show on HBO. Called what? Hulu. Tim as a ten year old. Tim as a ten year old. Yeah, let me see what it's on. It's what actually pretty is. good. It's 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 pretty spot on humor. It's like a kid that is like he just gets it. And the people around him are kind of off, but he's just like All right, HBO. Well, that's, that's what that's on. HBO, mm. yeah. Tim has a ten year old. Yeah, HBO Check got that one it on lock. Succession. I haven't watched Succession. Oh. I haven't saw the Euphoria. Mm. Euphoria is good. Succession. Yeah, yeah. Succession is good. Oh my god! I it's... was watching the one on, on Showtime, which was a uh, what was the one where uh, Paul Giamatti's on? And they talk about a whole lot of sex and stuff. And... No, Succession is a uh, basically about a rich family. Uh, yeah, I know. I haven't seen that one. Oh yet. That's my what god! It's HBO, basically right? like an extremely wealthy family and spoiled kids, and they all trying to take over the bit. It's so toxic and it's so good. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it makes you like. It's like it's like who do you hate? You love to hate these people, but who do you hate the least? Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. what you gotta. That's mm-hmm. what you gotta root for. I love man. Succession is read. They just they in their third. They just ended their third season. Okay. And when I tell you that season finale, I was like. <gasps> Pearl Damn, Clutch. That? Pearl <laughs> Clutch? 
<laughs> All right, well, listen, we got to get ready and get up out of here, man. I thought I was going to try to do one more story, but instead of story, I want to I want to close out with freestyle. We just come. Man. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if I got the good brain capacity to do that again. Oh. That took a lot out of me. And I got to pee. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. No, nah, you want freestyle. I can try Let me freestyle. see if I had, because I, I didn't find a conspiracy theory to do. We used to, like, try to close on conspiracy oh, yeah. theories, but I didn't find... One. I, oh my I will, God. You know what? I'll just do this. I'll just. Okay. I'll just. I was gonna say. I just. I th- I'm gonna I'm I'm play this 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 video, and hopefully you guys can hear it right now. Um, let me go right here, and this is about Elon's Elon Musk Neuralink is scarier than the metaverse. All right, so this yeah, this guy. No one is paying attention to this. Elon Musk company Neuralink just implanted a chip in a monkey's brain and taught it to play pong. With its mind, Neuralink was founded in 2016 with the goal of creating brain-machine interfaces, at first to help people with brain diseases and paralysis, but eventually to be used to enhance human cognition. This isn't some sci-fi pipe dream. They already have their first product, with human trials coming this year. Version 1 is a computer chip that charges wirelessly with little dangling copper threads that a robot surgically implants inside your brain. These threads read electrical signals, and then you can train a computer to recognize which signals correspond with which thought or action. Just think about what you'll be able to do with this thing. Imagine being able to communicate your thoughts with someone who also has a Neuralink, like telepathy, or know the answer to any question instantly by doing a Google search in your mind that takes milliseconds, or using it to control a bionic limb, or your car. These things sound far off, but they might only be like five or ten years away. We should be talking about these things in school. Honestly, I do. So, that sounds awful. That's a little scary, but you know. <laughs> that is fucking terrifying. That is. That is fucking that terrible. Awful. This is why it scares me so much. Companies like Google, Twitter, Facebook, other social media uh, so- social media uh, sites pay millions of dollars every year for top of the line security, right? When it comes to the the mainframe and data and you know just hackers, and they still get hacked. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. These are multi-million slash billion dollar companies that have the money to pay millions of dollars every year. You, you, you are Dion <laughs> from the west side of Chicago yeah. who is the shift manager at Subway. You going to be. <laughs> Who's to protect you from your brain getting hacked and somebody making you uh, a, a sleeper agent and you go shoot up whatever the hell. Yeah, that, that was the that, big thing about electric cars, like the fact that you can actually hack into yeah. an electric car. Yeah. Well, you can do it at regular cars now, too, because they're all computers, basically. Yeah. That's why I like old schools. I love old you, schools. You can't, ca- but you like, can't that tap scares it. You can't hack it into no carburetor. Me, though, like, but then also, like, who's who's checking the company that made the chip, Who's going to police all of this, and who's going to police the police? Yeah, exactly, because mm-hmm. someone has to. Every sci-fi movie... That ends the world points to this type of technology. Mm-hmm. Skynet, yeah, <laughs> no right. Genesis, Genesis, all of, them, all of them point to hey, let's make technology smarter so it can control us and we can control it. Oh, it controls us. Everybody dead. Every single movie points to this. What movie don't? Sci-fi. And we have more important issues to deal with than this. Now, what I will say, there was there was another one that where they uh, programmed. I think they programmed blood cells. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, all right, now we got cancer fighting things. Mm-hmm. See, the one, the only note on that list was that you could control like robotic limbs with your brain. Right. I understand that technology. Right. I get. But the, let it stop. But, there, with that. but it doesn't seem like we're focusing on that. Why do I need to do a Google search with my brain without actually typing in anything? Yeah. How is this difficult? And I thought that, the same like, thing about segways, though. I said, why can't people just walk? <laughs> What's wrong with just walking? Why you got to stand there and look yeah. stupid with your arms all limp? They do look dumb to this day. <laughs> <laughs> And how do, how, like, wh- what's the age limit on it? Because if you could just do a Google search, how do you, how do how you, do you yeah. tell kids that they should learn in school? They should right. try their hardest. If they know they got the money when they graduate just to get this implant. Like, wh- what is yes. the use of just knowing and, and learning all this information, put forth the effort? What's the use of reading books? If you could just Google everything, yeah. Well, and then yeah. what's we don't know any of the side effects. We don't know if this is this, what if in ten years that chip now has some radiation thing that it's been giving off into your brain and yeah. you've got cancer. Like we don't know the ramifications. I heard a quote like that said, "The smarter technology gets, the dumber we get." 
And, yeah, yeah. Like, I, for real. Because we're like. relying on them. I, I, was, I was at the Apple store on Sunday because my phone broke, and mm-hmm. I had to walk around the mall with no phone, and I felt like I, could, I couldn't get home because I didn't yeah. have this GPS. I was all the way in Northridge. Uh, I'm like, I don't know the way home. Yeah. I have to stay here. Do you have anybody on that? I didn't know what Leave time. He was like, come back home. at 2.50, and I'm like, what time is 2.50? I don't have a watch on me. Yeah, my phone is my clock. I feel you, though. Like, if I was, if something wasn't happening to me, my, my, my phone, the key to my car is my phone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if I lost my phone, I don't, can't get in my, well, actually I can't because it has like, a spare backup code that you can use on the door and then on the on the dash. But if I had to catch a bus, I don't know what bus to catch without <laughs> my phone. I would not know what yeah. bus to get back to my crib or when it comes or or the closest yeah. ATM to get cash. Is I'm typically they're, don't they're talking about cash. like solar flares, like you know, burst from the sun and like knocking out technology for a couple hours. Like, what mm-hmm. would people do? Stay at home, like, <laughs> read a book, like blow dust the books off. What is this? The Bible? The fuck is this? Yeah, what is this? Oh, I remember, I remember watching the video on this. <laughs> oh, well, listen, man. Like, thank y'all so much for watching, man. Shout out to the Tank Riders. Um, is it just the Tank Riders or just the Riders? Tanks Riders. Tanks Riders for pulling yeah, up, man. I, I hope you guys y'all. enjoyed us. Uh, feel free to stop by anytime. Um, episode drops. Every Thursday uh, at 8 a.m. or 6 a.m., um, so you can watch it then. Um, it'll have like some fancy graphics up when we're doing the, the ads and when I'm talking about the stories. Other than that, you guys just get to see it early and be a part of it. Typically, we interact more, uh, but you know we had a guest, so I was just trying to make sure that everything's good. Oh, on you this be side. talking to them more? Yeah, yeah. Oh, like why don't you th- tell me? I could have went in and talked to these heifers. Oh man, you know you th- listen. Nah, I, it, they it, got it, drinking and driving up in the chat. Y'all well, quit. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm the whiskey glasses, and I was you the rider. So you know, what's the plan? for what's up plates i told did i didn't tell you about nah. that plates no man they won't let it go we was doing me and angels about to start our podcast one time just real quick i tell mm-hmm. you and our uh sponsors was uh stamps something else and every plate <laughs> so angel asked me off guard and i was writing it down because uh. i you know write them down so we know when to do them and so i saw stamps so she was like well tell them who's the day sponsor i was, I was like plates every, i was like mm. <laughs> And after that, <laughs> we laugh for like 20 minutes. <laughs> so every time, they'd be like, look, plates. That's what they'd be like. Any plates? time I'm on anything, plates. Because I, I yelled it so confident. It was so much confidence. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> it was like stairs would have been like stairs, but I was writing every plate. He's like, what's the name sponsor? Plates. Plates. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, listen, man. Um. Uh, yeah, man, I'm gonna get up out of here. I'm doing this thing right now. I kind of so I did this. I did this Toby Lou video for those that don't know. Toby Lou is a dope rapper from Chicago, and like one of the baddest out right now. He like, um, ridiculous. He he had me on this video shoot with a whole other light, a, a whole lot, a whole lot of light skinned guys with freckles. Everybody on the the group that was in the scene had freckles, light skinned freckles. It was weird, and they dressed us all in green, like monochromatic. And I was like, oh, I like this shit. So for the past two days, I've been buying up, scourging all the green that I can find. <laughs> like I have probably about 13 outfits now of just different colors of green, just monochromatic, just you know, like like this, like what you say right mm-hmm. now. So be warned. You're over here looking out camouflage. It's money season. We come for <laughs> 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 I had to go buy sneakers and all of that shit. Everything's green. I got green tie-dye socks on, nigga. I'm out here. It's money season. Throw up the dollar signs, bitch. It's the rock. <laughs> it's the rock. Okay. <laughs> Thank y'all so much, so much for watching another episode of Damn Internet Scary. I'm to hear more. Marcus Tanksley. I'll see you next weekend, or well, next week, on another episode of Damn. Wait, before we get up out of here, y'all make some noise for the cam on the cam cam real quick. Yeah. Bam, 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 bam. Cam off in the building. All right, y'all. We'll see you next week on another episode of Damn Internet. You scared. Y'all have a good one, fam. Peace.